The way kidney failure cases are on the rise in this country, you may think it contagious or it can be passed from one person to the other. But kidney failure is not an infectious condition, rather it is a result of certain lifestyle or chronic diseases. Due to this, I want you to join me in this video as I throw some light on why kidney failure is on the rise, who can get kidney failure, early signs of kidney failure, and certain lifestyle or diseases that can lead to kidney failure. Before I start, Please make sure to subscribe to this channel or follow this page, so you don't miss any health-related content like this. Also, don't forget to like, comment and share with your loved ones. To begin with, kidney failure occurs when your kidneys lose the ability to filter waste from your blood sufficiently. Again, your kidneys filter your blood and remove toxins from your body. These toxins go to your bladder and are eliminated when you urinate. When this doesn't work properly, you can get kidney failure. And lastly, if your kidneys aren't able to function properly, toxins can overwhelm your body. This can lead to kidney failure, which can be life-threatening if left untreated. Kidney failure can result from various causes. According to research, the two most common include high blood pressure and diabetes. People who are most at risk mostly have one or more of the following. A sudden loss of blood flow to your kidneys. Conditions like heart attack or disease, liver failure, dehydration, allergic reactions, sepsis and anti-inflammatory medications can cut or limit blood supply to the kidneys, which can lead to kidney failure. When your body can't eliminate urine, toxins build up and overload the kidneys. Some cancers like prostate, colon, cervical and bladder cancers can block the urine passageways. Other conditions that can interfere with urination and possibly lead to kidney failure include kidney stones, enlarged prostate, blood clots within your urinary tract and damage to the nerves that control your bladder. Other factors that may lead to kidney failure include a blood clot in or around your kidneys, heavy metal poisoning, drugs and alcohol use, certain antibiotics, unmanaged diabetes, hemolytic uremic syndrome, which involves the breakdown of red blood cells following a bacterial infection, usually of the intestines, chemotherapy drugs that treat cancer and some autoimmune diseases, dyes used in some imaging tests, vasculitis, lupus, glomerulonephritis, multiple myeloma, scleroderma, and thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. All these conditions can somehow cause kidney failure. In the early stage, kidney failure often doesn't cause noticeable symptoms. According to CDC, about 90% of people with chronic kidney disease don't know they have it. But as kidney disease progresses, symptoms may include reduced amount of urine, swelling of your legs, ankles, and feet from fluid retention, shortness of breath, trouble sleeping, muscle cramping at night, excessive drowsiness or fatigue, persistent nausea, confusion, chest pain or pressure, seizures and coma. With all these, you have to know that symptoms of early stage kidney disease may be subtle and hard to identify. So when you experience decreased urine output, swelling in limbs and shortness of breath, try and visit the nearest hospital for some test. Know that the colour of your urine doesn't tell you much about the state of your kidney function until damage to the kidneys has progressed. Meanwhile, when urine colour changes, it may be an early indicator of some issues. Take note of these urine colour and their indications. When your urine colour is clear or pale yellow, it means you are well hydrated. When your urine is dark yellow or amber in colour, this indicates you are dehydrated. If your urine colour is orange, it means you are dehydrated or there's bile in your bloodstream. Again, when there is blood in the urine or you have been eating certain food, your urine colour can be pink and red. And lastly, when you have foamy urine, it means the urine contain a lot of protein, which potentially indicate kidney disease. People of all ages can develop kidney failure, but the risk increases with age. You may have a higher risk if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, and a family history of kidney failure. Note that the longer you've had these conditions, the greater your risk of chronic kidney failure. Because of this, I think the reason kidney failure is on the rise is that more people are getting diabetes, which are not properly managed. Young people have to know that currently diabetes is not a condition for only the aged, but youngsters are also being diagnosed of diabetes. 
and because they refuse to check and manage it, complication like kidney failure occurs. Kidney failure can either be acute or chronic. Acute kidney failure occurs when your kidneys suddenly stop working properly, while chronic kidney failure occurs when your kidney stops working over time. Doctors typically divide kidney failure into five types. 1. Acute prerenal kidney failure. Doctors can usually cure this type once they determine the cause of the decreased blood flow. 2. Acute intrinsic kidney failure. This can result from direct trauma to the kidneys, such as physical impact or an accident. 3. Chronic prerenal kidney failure. This occurs when there isn't enough blood flowing to your kidneys for an extended period of time. 4. Chronic intrinsic kidney failure. This happens when there's long-term damage to the kidneys. 5. Chronic post-renal kidney failure. It occurs when a long-term blockage of the urinary tract prevents urination. 6. Acute post-renal kidney failure. This type of kidney failure can occur due to stones or another blockage in the urinary tract. When it comes to diagnosis, doctors use several tests to diagnose kidney failure. Some common tests include urinalysis, urine volume measurements, blood samples test, imaging tests like ultrasounds, and kidney tissue sample. When it comes to prevention, you can take steps to lower the risk of kidney failure by following directions when taking over-the-counter medications, taking doses that are too high, even of common drugs like aspirin, can create high toxin levels quickly. This can overload your kidneys. Again, make sure to properly treat infections like UTIs because many kidney or urinary tract conditions lead to kidney failure without proper treatment. You can help lower your risk of kidney failure by eating a balanced diet, maintaining a moderate weight, taking prescribed and over-the-counter medications as directed and not taking more medication than is safe, keeping conditions such as diabetes and high blood pressure well managed and following a doctor's advice. The bottom line is, kidney failure can develop suddenly or from long-term damage. Possible causes of kidney failure can include diabetes, high blood pressure and kidney trauma. Kidney disease is classified into five stages, ranging from mild to complete kidney failure. Symptoms and complications increase as the stages progress. If you have kidney failure, you can work with a doctor to determine the best treatment options. Don't forget to seek early treatment, that's the only way to be on the safe side. Live well and stay safe.